still, I might at some point, once, once I'm healed, uh, <laughs> removal of the PEG. PEG stomach tube. Yeah, it's. Uh... I'll share it with the guys anyway, if nothing else. Uh -huh. <laughs> you put it in the free flying group. <laughs> it's a percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy tube. That's, that's what he has there. Normally, this is, this is done um, at the doctor's office, and normally what the doctor does, it takes and he gives a little anesthesia around the wound so you don't feel that, that, that pressure. But it shouldn't, it shouldn't be a problem. We don't have that anesthesia here. We won't use it because you're a man. Right? <laughs> you don't need, who needs, real men do not need anesthesia. 38 caliber bullet yeah. hole in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Gut <Okay>. shot. <laughs> so I'm prepping the gauze, prepping this, prepping the betadine. I'm going to glove up. We have the tape. We have the towel. Where's the towel? Here's the towel. I want you to keep that over here Handy. just in yep. case. Yep. All right. You have enough gauze? Sure. Yeah, we do. Okay, let me get one, just one more. Pack it in there. Initially, is when you, if you get any kind of uh, bleed or bleed through, it's going to be the, in the initial stages. After it cauterized, after the um, leukocytes had time to uh, coagulate the blood and all that stuff, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Uh, this is the first time. How long has it been in there? October 2018. Here okay, we are. So it's been five, six months, seven months. July. All eight June. Months. Okay. Yeah, 25 so, June. So it's been in there for a while, and it's never been taken out at all since then. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and then before that, you didn't have another. This is the first that they they did the stoma um, in October, right? Yeah. And that's since then. Have you had a lot of use initially? No, not, not really. really. It was just in there in case. Yeah, I used all it right. for two or three okay. days, maybe for some right. insure and protein. Okay. But never really relied on it uh, too much. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create a sterile field. I'm going to wash it first with, with the um, soap, the betadine soap, and some cotton. And then we're going to apply the betadine solution to sterilize the field. So because it has to be really sterile around. You don't want anything, any of the little... Don't want any cooties going in there. Okay, so I'm gonna. Okay, you're looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna wash. This is soap. Okay, this is antiseptic soap that they use during um, surgery in the surg surgical environment. So this is how they prep it, and they kind of go around. Get. It's kind of like washing it with soap and water, but better. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get a little in there. Big, big area here. Okay. Okay, so in here too. Okay, next, I'm going to apply the betadine solution. I'm going to use this bag for a uh, yeah, brush, okay? Absolutely. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to apply the betadine solution, which is this. This is Tuesday, 25 July 2019. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After our Tuesday luncheon. Right. Okay, so I'm going to put some drops here like that and sterilize the whole field normally I would put on a mask to do this but I try not to spit on you okay I've got some there if you, you want one I've yeah. got some that's all right it's in my vest pocket mm -hmm. in my top right vest pocket mm -hmm. new unused mm -hmm.
Which which vest? The one I was wearing today. Okay. It's thrown over the back of that I chair. See it. Yeah. Okay. And if you'll turn it back side out, it's the top right pocket. Top right pocket. Mm-hmm. On on the outside, if you were as if you had it on. On the outside. Uh huh. Okay. Here, this one. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Okay, just gonna use one. Yeah. yeah. Looks like you have more than one. In yeah, here. yeah. One, the one in the plastic bags are, are not being used. Right. That's what I'm getting. All right. You know, walking through that IESS hospital, it's just best to, to mask up because you're around so many yeah, people. Yeah, a lot of um, bad off Mercy people. stuff in there. Oof. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. So Doctor's in the house. He was going to do. We're going to take this thing out and we're going to, normally we would have the um, air. Let me put this uh -huh. over here. Over here like this. And it would put a needle in there and suck the air out of the balloon. Mm -hmm. But since you're not, doesn't matter. I've got a I'm syringe going to fits that thing if you want it. You got, got a syringe? syringe? Okay, syringe. then let's do it. Well, actually, you're not going to use this anymore. Right. right. So I'm going to take this out and let the air come out through here. Okay. Which is the same thing as sucking it out. Okay. okay? There you go. See, now the air is coming out. I just took this apart because this is going to go in the trash. And that was simply by hand. You just mm -hmm. did that. Well, actually, I'm going to need to open. Yeah, just by hand. I'm going to open this up. Mm -hmm. comes the yeah. fluid. Okay, yeah. That's why I wanted the... Um, you need an extra hand? I no. Hold on to that? No, it's okay. Just need to... Because it's pressing on the tube and it's pushing Forcing the fluid it out. out. Yeah. Okay. And a little wire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I wanted the towel. Mm -hmm. Normally I would just cut this with a, with a pair of scissors, but I don't really need to. I got I got some yeah. laying right there if you want. Yeah. But you don't need to. It's okay. This is see it's okay. It's okay now. The only reason to cut it is to let the air out, but it's it's good. It's good. It's good. Okay. So it's got a little fluid in here, which is normal. Mm -hmm. A little gastric fluid. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my hand here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull slowly on this. Mm -hmm. And since the balloon should have deflected already, it will uh, just come through. Okay? okay? Are you ready? Yep. Okay? Don't, 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 so don't, don't, stay, stay soft. Mm -hmm. Don't get splashed on. It feels like it's pulling my whole stomach out. Go. Is it hurting? Yep. Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay. Are you okay? Yep. <laughs> okay. This is what it is. God, oh my. See? It's <laughs> deflated now. But it still had like a little, little shape. This was round. I deflated I it. And now <laughs> it's out. Okay? Ooh. Looks like a little mushroom. It felt okay. like I was vomiting I know. very I know. hard, you I know, know. I know. heaving. I know. And that's how my buddies in, in Kodakashi has come out like that, yeah. by vomiting very violently. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, see, but it's not bad. It's a little bleeding, like we, 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 knew, we knew that was going to sure. happen. It goes all okay, the way now I'm going to clean it up again. All right. With some. <laughs> it popped like a firecracker. Yep. Pop. Yep. Whoo! You're I done, had, though. I mean, now it's just a matter of... Um, I had Mexican for lunch today, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just a matter of cleaning you up and putting the gauze on there and keeping that hole dry, antiseptic. Okay. Okay, and you're not bad at all. It's a little blood. There's no stomach fluid coming out. So that's a good thing. Sometimes you get a lot. And that's, that's a good thing. So now I'm going to put gauze on there. You can center it. Okay, now this gauze has several layers. 
like I said, when you take it off, don't yank off the, don't do this. Because mm -hmm. then you'll yank off, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little um, cauterization there. And don't pull the scab off. The scab will protect you. All right. The top layers of the gauze, like this one I'm putting on here, will absorb some of the bleed through or the fluid. Sometimes you have a little bit of stomach fluid coming through until it mm -hmm. closes up. This one you can change. Okay. These, these, okay? So I'm gonna put three or four on there. Like that. Maybe one more because the first, the most bleeding occurs right after the procedure. So right now is when you're gonna have. So this should be, hold you off for the next 24 hours. It may bleed through a little bit, but hopefully not if you don't move too much. I mean, you, you kind of keep it easy, you know, don't, don't, don't be walking around too much, don't be stressing right. out too much. Keep your um, stomach muscles relaxed. Don't tense them, okay? So I'm gonna... All that yellow stuff is just the bit of dying, okay? That's right, right. So this is approaching the 12 minute mark, so I'm gonna, we're about okay. done here. All right. This has been another Journeyman Jack in Ecuador production. AT Everything's good. Signing off until next time. <laughs>